August 1, 2020. In dreams, I saw many looking for their economy in the cities. It was a struggle among them to achieve what was easy for them before. I observed the anguish on their faces to obtain the daily bread. I observed good at each one of them and quickly realized that they were all Adventists. I heard a voice that told me, take them to another place so that they learn by their own hands to obtain what through money they were accustomed to obtain. They told me, walk down that street and you will find a person who will help you. I quickly told everyone who was there in that city, come, come with me. I urged them, but only two persons followed me. The other said, when I see what they will do, then we will go. So we left, the other two people and I, to the direction they gave me. On the street, I found the person which I was told I was going to find. So we entered a small room, and there she began to instruct us. She told us, you will only survive if you remember exactly the past. The women sewed and weaved. The food was grown. The family built their house and a few pieces of furniture in it. Making fire was something everyone knew about, and carrying pitchers of water, the order of the day. In their houses, everything was simple but durable. Nothing was breakable. The clothes lasted 20 years, said a person who was speaking to us, and nothing that used energy was seen in those dwellings. The house was built near the waters and not near the streets as today. His transport, his best friend, the one who ate his grass and transported the load. His quiet moments were in the shade of a tree, reading and meditating, writing and sharing with others the wonders of the eternal. His medicine, the plants, and his health care, the divine requirements. So this person continued talking. While we were listening, a lady was also working with her hands, and she did not stop, but she was very attentive, listening. She looked at her and said, So you must continue. She then said, You must be like marsupials. She repeated it and looked at us, the few people who were there. Then she looked fixedly at me and told me, Don't forget, you must be like marsupials. At that moment, I woke up. I started looking quickly about this, and I leave this for you too, for assignment. We must be like marsupials, that grant that we be able to understand. May the Lord bless us.